Hello class, this is your first screencast for word problems, okay? I've made these just so I can try and help you when you're at home and you're getting a little bit stuck on some of your word problem questions, just so you can look back over this and remind yourself how you use rucksack to help you to do your word problems, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to read through our word problem. We need to do this just to make sure that we completely understand the question. It really helps to read it out loud, like so. So, Miss West goes to the shop to buy some ingredients to bake a cake. She has £7 to spend. Flour is £2 a bag. Sugar is a pound a bag. Eggs are £3 and butter is £2.50. Does she have enough money? If not, how much more or less does she need? Okay, so now that we've read that, I can cross that off as something that we have done. Brilliant. So now we need to underline the key information. So, firstly, it's not important that Miss West is a person who goes to the shop to buy the ingredients or that she's even doing it to bake a cake. But it's very important that she has £7 to spend. Because this way, when we come to our calculation, we know how much we want it to add up to. Therefore, it's also really important that we know that she's buying something that's £2. She's buying something that's £1. She's buying something that's £3. And she's also buying something that is £2.50. It's also important that we underline, does she have enough money? And if not... How much more or less does she need? Because this was what the question is actually asking. Because we could just add up all of the money and then think that that's our answer when actually the question is asking us something different. Okay, so now we've also underlined all of our key information. Now we need to work out what calculation it is that we need to do. So firstly, we will need an addition calculation just to add up all of the money. Then... We need to find out if she has enough money. And then we might be taking away or we might be adding. I'm not sure because we haven't got that far yet. So I'll just put that there. So we decided what the calculation is. So now we just need to solve it. Okay. So first we're going to add together £2. With, that, that's for flour, £1. It's nice and clear you see because we've underlined everything. Eggs, which are three pounds, and the butter, which is two pound fifty. You might decide that you want to do this in different steps, but this is quite an easy sum that I've chosen just to make this nice and simple for you. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so all together that has come to eight pound fifty. So let's look back to the question: Does she have enough money? So well, we can see that she has seven pounds to spend. Okay, so that's not quite enough. So now we need to take away seven pounds from eight pound fifty, which leads us with. £1.50. So that is actually, now we've solved it, our answer is going to be £1.50. And our answer is £1.50 because the question asks how much more or less money does she need to be able to buy all her ingredients. So if it was £8.50 and she had £7, she needs £1.50 more to be able to buy all her ingredients. There are quite a variety of ways in which we can check our answer. And I'll probably go through more of those with you in class. But for now, what I would do is just check how much that actually comes to. So something simple could just be to put two of the answers together. So that's 350. And then that... Is five pounds. Okay, so five pounds and three fifty definitely does equal eight pounds fifty, and we have got our seven pounds there just to remind ourselves that that was what it was. Okay, 
So now that we have checked our answer, we have completed the whole of the rucksack equation and we've finished our word problem, okay? So well done. Now have a go at some questions yourself. Use this when you come to do your homework or when you have your practice questions because you can play it over and over again as many times as you like to try and help you. Thank you.